The New York Knicks, unfortunately, didn't sign an all-star or superstar this offseason like they had hoped. But that's not stopping one New York Knicks star from trying to recruit another star to the New York Knicks. And of course, this star is Mikel Bridges, a former Villanova star. And this is coming off of the heels of the New York Knicks signing, Ryan Archidiakono, who of course, you guessed it, is also a former Villanova star. We're going to look into which star in the New York Knicks, if it's not obvious already, who's trying to recruit Mikel Bridges to the Knicks, if it's even realistic, and if Mikel Bridges fits the New York Knicks and what they have going on and what they're building. We're going to look into this and so much more today. Let's get started. Josh Hart continues to recruit Mikel Bridges to the New York Knicks. I got to say, Josh Hart is a golden treasure for the New York Knicks. He is a must. You don't got to pay him extra to do anything. He's going to recruit everybody and anybody to the New York Knicks. He tried to do it with Dame. He did it with Mikel Bridges a couple of months ago. And now he's returning to do it again for Mikel Bridges. On the heels of the New York Knicks signing, Ryan Archidiakono to a contract, an Exhibit 9 deal, but still a contract with the New York Knicks. Another Villanova star. And of course, the New York Knicks have Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, and now Ryan R.J. Diacono. They're getting the band back together. Josh Hart knows this. He senses it, and then he tweeted out this. Yo, Mikel Bridges, hit my phone. I want to run something by you real quick. He's a national treasure for the New York Knicks. You never, and I mean never, have to pay him a dime to recruit other players to the New York Knicks. He's just going to do it. And if he has a relationship with them, he's going to do it even more. You got to love and respect Josh Hart for that. It's one of the main reasons I respect and love Josh Hart so much on the New York Knicks. I still think the New York Knicks paid him a little bit, at least for the New York Knicks. But if he's going to give you things like this, it's all worth it, in my opinion. However, Mikel Bridges, for me, has been a dream of mine for so long. He should have been a Nick, guys. He should have been a Nick. We had the chance to draft Mikel Bridges. And we didn't draft him. We didn't draft Mikel Bridges. Mikel Bridges. If you really want to know, if you really want to talk about it, the best fit for the New York Knicks right now. Young, check. Wing, check. Two-way player, check. One of the best two-way young players in the league today, check. That's why you'd want Mikel Bridges on your team. That's why Brooklyn traded KD for Mikel and Cam because they believe that those two are their future. And Mikel Bridges proved last season why he is their future. Did you see what he can do when he's given a chance to be the number one option on a team? He can thrive. Imagine if he was the number two or three option on a team. What he could do with his defense and his scoring. He can score any way he wants to. Need a three? He got you. In the paint? He got you. Off the dribble? He got you. Mikel Bridges is exactly, exactly what this New York Knicks team needs. But then he tweeted this out to Josh Hart and killed my dream. And of course, if you're reading this too, your dreams as well. I'm okay, LOL. Of course he's okay, Josh Hart. Of course he's okay. He just signed a great contract with the Brooklyn Nets. He's more than okay. You're in the same neighborhood, more or less. He's going to see you. He's going to have dinners with you. He's still going to have that bonding time with you. So he's okay with having that and still running his own team, doing his own thing with the Nets and showcasing his abilities. And of course, that's what he's going to do. That's what he's going to say because he can't say, you're right, I should join the Knicks. You have all my favorite people there. I want to go there. Let me go there. Let me get to the Knicks. He can't say that publicly when he's signed to the Nets. He's going to get fined, especially under this new CBA. But not only that, he's the face of the Nets right now. He's the only hope the Nets have right now. If he said that, 
the Nets would be in disasterville, going nowhere fast. They would have no upside if he said that. I know Net fans were very happy to hear that response and hear him say that because obviously that's their hope. They're shining hope right now. You lose Mikel or he says anything bad about your organization or says he wants to play for another organization more or less or hints at it, it's done for the Brooklyn Nets. Everybody knows that. And I think Mikel knows that too. He's not going to openly say that. He knows the hopes and dreams of all Net fans linger on him. And because of that, he's going to keep it status quo, toe in the line, not saying anything out of the ordinary when we all know and believe that he wants to be a New York Nick. He wants to join the Knicks. He wants to play with his buddies. I think it's all very clear, but he's not going to say that. And nobody can blame him for saying that. And even if he said it, even if he was available, Nick fans, we're not kidding ourselves. You know he's not going to be traded to the Knicks if that happens, right? The Nets would sooner keep him disgruntled than trade him to the Knicks. Because the Knicks and the Nets haven't done a trade. I can't remember the last time the Knicks and the Nets have done a trade. Guys, if you are watching this video and you remember the last time that happened or you Googled it and you want to go ahead and leave it in the comments, please go ahead and do so. Because I can't remember it. But I'm saying that for a reason. The fact I can't remember it means that it's not going to happen. It's not. It is not going to happen. He's not going to be a New York Nick because they're not going to trade him to the Knicks. They're going to trade him to the West, which makes sense, or any other team that gives a better package than the Knicks because at the end of the day, that's what they would want to do. That's preferred. They're not going to want to trade Mikel Bridges to a division rival. They're not going to want to see Mikel Bridges and whatever squad the New York Knicks create with him every single season, game after game after game, multiple times. It doesn't make sense. A smart GM would trade him to the West. And I think that's exactly what would happen if the Nets wanted to trade him. But the Nets don't want to trade him. The Nets don't even think about trading him. Mikel doesn't want to be traded, it seems like. He's not entertaining the idea. And because of that, because of all those factors and circumstances, unfortunately, guys, he's not going to be a New York Nick. As much as it breaks my heart to say that, Josh Hart, continue to recruit. Recruit him. Please, maybe one day, one of those tweets will hit him differently and he'll think differently and he'll want to come to the New York Knicks. So keep doing what you're doing. More power to you. I'm going to keep praying for it because I know what everybody knows. Mikel Bridges is the perfect fit for this New York Knicks team. Add him to the Knicks and the Knicks might be a finals team depending on what you have to give up to get him. That's how good and how perfect of a fit Mikel Bridges is for this New York Knicks team. The unfortunate part is, like I said before, I don't think the Knicks get him. But Josh Hart, please continue those recruitment efforts. It may go in vain with Mikel Bridges. It definitely is going to go in vain with Dame Lillard because he's probably going to sign with the Miami Heat. But don't stop. Don't give up. Keep trying to recruit other stars to the New York Knicks because I haven't seen a player on the Knicks do this ever, especially not at this velocity or this blatantly or obviously. You gotta love it. I love Josh Hart for this. Kudos to Josh Hart. Shout out to you, brother. Thank you so much for doing this. Keep up those efforts. Hopefully one day it hits and we can get a star because of your efforts on the New York Knicks. But until then, I'm gonna keep hoping and praying that Mikel Bridges rethinks this Brooklyn Nets stance and wants to come to the New York Knicks, wants to be traded here, and wants to come home and join the Nova Knicks, which is apparently what the New York Knicks are looking like they're building right now with the signing of Ryan Archie Diakono. But if you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment below, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Knicks fans. Peace.